Mom and I are here enjoying a snowed in day and uh, just having some great conversation. And I know, we, Mom, we've talked about this before and you've told the story before, but um, I just think you need to share it again. Um, I just listened to you counsel over the phone and um, I just love the things that you said. And I think it would be great to share that with everybody. Mm -hmm. Just share how you deal with difficulties and hard times. That's right. Every day is filled with a problem. Some kind of little ones and big ones. Mm -hmm. Some that make you sad or make you sick. Uh, some that just are against all odds. There's no hope. It's a hopeless situation. That kind of trouble. Well, they're all really handled the same way. We make it so hard. And of course, it's to trust the Lord. But what do you mean by that? There's a, there's a wonderful story in Second Chronicles chapter 20. And it gives us a real secret. But Jehoshaphat was king in Judah, a good king. And um, these three na other nations, Moab, Edom, and Mount Seir, were going to fight him. They were going to come up against him. And they were strong and they had weapons and ammunition. And he didn't have all that. And he was terrified. This was a, r a real problem, not only for him, but for the whole nation. And he didn't know what to do. He was scared. And so he decided to call a fast. And he called the people together and to pray and fast. And they listened to him. They came together. They didn't know what to do. They were scared, just like we are. What, what do you do when you're really scared? But they prayed. And while they were praying, one of the, the men got a message from God. And he said, you don't have to fight this battle. The battle is not yours, it's God's. Because Joseph had said to the Lord, Lord, we have no might against this great company that's coming against us. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. That's just the situation we're in sometimes. Lord, this is a big one. I don't know what to do. But Lord, my eyes are on you. My eyes are on you. And this man said, the battle is not yours. He reminded him, it's God's to trust the Lord. How do you know you're trusting God? What do you mean? How do you trust God? Well, this is what he did. He got his army together, and the battle was the next day. And instead of sending the army ahead, he got the choir and sent the choir ahead of the army. And they were singing. What a funny way to fight a battle. What a funny, strange way to fight a battle. They were in danger. But this is what God told them to do. And this is what they were saying. Praise the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Woo! Praise the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endureth forever. They sang this song. And the scripture says, when they began to praise the Lord, then the Lord set ambushments against the enemy. And they fought among themselves and fought among themselves and destroyed each other. Mm. And so when the army got there, there were dead bodies around. They had killed each other. And that's a strange story. But it's saying something about the power of bringing God into the situation. We have trouble. And what do we do first? Well, go get a drink. Let's go get drunk. Or drugs, we could do that. Or if it's bad enough, we could end it all. But this is different. This is the way God says to do it. Trust me. Praise me. Praise is, is not just a feeling, but it's something you do because you're told to do it. When they began to praise the Lord, then God moved because they were trusting him. And when the, the Jehoshaphat and his army got there, they, they were destroyed. 
they, they destroyed each other. But this valley was a battlefield, but they called it Baraka, blessing. Mm -hmm. And the battle turned into a blessing. And you know, sometimes you may be going through trouble now, and it, it just worries you so. It, you're getting sick, it's making you sick. And you're so worried, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. And you cried and you cried and you don't know what to do. And God said, trust me, put it in my hands. Expect me to work. Let me turn this battle and this heartache and this sorrow into a blessing. Take it out of the enemy's hands. Some of you are going through great heartache and sorrow. You've lost a loved one and you're so sad. Well, you could just grieve yourself to death or complain or murmur. Or you could say, Lord, this hurts so bad. And God will say, I know. And you say, I don't understand this. I serve you. I don't understand why this is happening. And God says, I know, but just trust me. Well, Lord, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my broken heart in your hands. I'm going to put this trouble in your hands. I don't know what to do. But if anybody's going to help me, Lord, it's going to be you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trust you. And turn that battlefield into blessing, Baraka. It became a blessing. Maybe that's the situation you're in today. You're so sad and you don't know what to do and you're scared. There's something coming up in your life that you have to handle and you're scared and don't know what to do. God says, come here, put it in my hands, trust me. And maybe you go through a humiliating experience but if it's in his hands, he can turn the battle into a blessing. Mm -hmm. I know he can, he's done it in my life. See, how do you know you're trusting God? Are you praising him? Mm -hmm. If you're praising him, that's the key. Praise is just not a feeling, it's an act of the will. If anybody's gonna help me, Lord, it's got to be you. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm just going to go ahead and praise you ahead of time because I put it in your hands. Well, that's good. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. That's good. That's good. That's true. Secrets. That's good.